The first thing you have to understand is that FEMA is building these massive camps, millions of coffins, massive graves, and concentration camp-like facilities over 800 in this country. You need to understand why they're doing this and what exactly will happen if it's not stopped. You need to spread this information to as many people as you can. You will not see this information on the news or on any local news channel. The only person that was talking about this was Glenn Beck. But you'll see, in the beginning, when he was on Fox and Friends, he said he could not debunk them. Later on that night, his story changed, and he said they don't exist. Anybody that speaks out about this is silenced. So it's only a matter of time before even the people on YouTube that have a large audience are silenced. Until the time comes, it is our job to send this information to as many people as we can and unite as many people as we can. This is our one shot at fighting this. We cannot lose it over petty fights or arguing about religion or skin color. We must continue to fight together and not at one another, which is exactly what they want. This series will do just that. Show proof that something is wrong. Show proof of everything I've just said and hopefully inspire people to continue to unite and fight together. Comedians are used to getting heckled, but, you know, that usually happens at a comedy club where the audience has already exceeded their two-drink minimum. So when a comedian hosts his own big-time TV show and hears something coming from the audience other than applause, it can catch him a little off guard. That's what happened last Friday night during a taping of HBO's Real Time with Bill Maher. It seems that some 9-11 truthers, as they like to call themselves, those who feel that September 11th attacks were orchestrated by the U.S. government, uh, were in the audience, and they started shouting things. Eventually, Maher had enough. See, this is the problem sometimes with the government. Hey, do we have some security in this building? Or do I have to come over and pick this guy down? This isn't the Iowa caucus, okay? It's not a debate. It's a debate between us. You're in the audience. Audience comes from the Latin to listen. Brace yourself, America. I agree with Bill Maher on this one. Anybody who thinks that 9-11 was carried out by the government isn't a truther. They're idiots. Can you actually imagine that our government was capable of successfully pulling off 9-11 and then keeping it off of the front page of the New York Times? No. But 12% of Americans are just dumb enough to believe that that's exactly what happened with the U.S. government taking down the World Trade Center, at least number seven. Actually, more Americans think that than think that, that Congress is doing a good job. I'm not kidding. These truthers are exactly the kind of people who want to rock this nation's foundation, tear us apart, and plant the seeds of dissatisfaction in all of us. You know, um, there's, there's a ton of bad news, and, and we're talking tonight about socialism, and when did all of a sudden socialism become an okay thing in this country? The bad news is just multiplying. Our economy is tanking. It doesn't show signs of improving. There are people losing jobs. Five, 500 million a month, according to Nancy Pelosi, and it doesn't look like uh, you know, any helps on the way there. There are more cuts on the way. People around the world are taken to the streets. Our government responds to uh, the problems with bailouts, and when you call them up and say, what are you doing, you don't get any response. They're not listening to you. Ponzi scheme crooks get away with millions. Tax cheats are getting promotions. You just want your children to grow up in a sane country and you don't want anybody indoctrinating your kids at, when they get to school. I think a lot of people feel like um, they're alone and they just want to give up. Well tonight we're going to change that. I'm here to tell you something important and that is you're not alone. Please stand up and fight for them. The email once again send your photo to we surround them at gmail.com. All right. The climate change people are pulling a page from Nazis Hitler youth. What are your kids learning at school? Do we really surround them? Yeah. That I wanted to debunk 
these FEMA camps, I'm mm -hmm. tired of hearing. You know about them? Sure. I'm tired of hearing. I wanted to debunk them. Well, we've now for several days done research on them. I can't debunk them. And we're going to carry the story tonight. I don't know anything about them. So it, is, it is our government. If you trust our government, it's fine. If you have any kind of fear that we might be headed towards a totalitarian state, look out. Buckle up. There's something going on in our country that is... Uh, Ain't good. All right. Something else uh, you're going to talk about coming up <laughs> I next. I know. I'm sorry. I wonder if Gretchen, I'm going to the do not again. get on. Yeah. Stay you know above what? the again. table. Gretchen. What? Name the monster in the dark and have no fear. There are more of us than there are of them. We just have to be honest and open about right. these and things. Right, and guess what? And the, our new Secretary them. of State just went and shook the hands of another uh, voice of evil, and that is Syria. Syria. Who have never come clean on killing the... Uh, Name the, evil. Stop. America has got to gotcha. stand up. Hey, go we have to stand up and take a break. That's right. Business and in these California. peace camps are <laughs> all over the U.S.? Yes. And they're all empty? Yeah. Yeah. And they're all, and, and look, here's the so thing. So that's you, what you're talking about tonight. tonight. You'll see that tonight. And I, I tell you, it just something doesn't sit right with me. You know, we were talking off the air. We have a standing battalion in this country in Maryland. It's not the National Guard. I'm, I, I'm, my show is going to send out letters to all of the governors. I want all the governors on record saying they will not allow the United States Army or any branch of the military unless they call them up. You know, you What's don't... this battalion supposed to do? It's for emergencies. It's for civil unrest. So it's, it's like for, the National Guard? Um, yeah, but it's not the National Guard. It's a super guard. It's a super guard. When did it start? Uh, August it was. They say it was for September 11th, but it was actually put into place this last August. So you're saying that we, we had trouble recruiting for a while for the military, but you're saying we didn't have any trouble forming this force, and who pays for it? The United States government. You do. Your tax, your tax dollars are going to pay for it. I know. It's, these... ag it's against the Constitution. All right. You, yesterday you said you're in favor of marijuana being legal. The FEMA plans to imprison American citizens have generated a lot of interest around the country in locating the potential prison camps throughout the country. These may be facilities currently being used as prisons, such as those you saw earlier, or prisons that are being built supposedly in the name of the war on drugs, or facilities that have other uses but which could be quickly used to detain large numbers of people, such as this Amtrak facility in Beech Grove, Indiana. I want to tell you that uh, there are red and blue lists out there. Some of you already heard about the red and blue list, okay? And some people are calling my radio talk show on Genesis Communication Network and on the Great Republic Broadcasting Network. And uh, praise God, we got uh, the owner of Republic Broadcasting Network. He's going to speak right after me, John. Wonderful, patriotic American. But anyway... I've had people calling me saying they go out to their mailbox and they find a little red dot or a little blue dot on their mailbox and they wonder what the little red dot and blue dot is. Well, it's marking your mailbox by the government so when foreign troops come in here on us after martial law, if you have a red dot on your mailbox, they take you out immediately and shoot you right in the head. But if you have a blue dot, they take you to the FEMA camps being built by Halliburton right now to house 50 million Americans. They're building enough concentration camps in America by Halliburton that Cheney's getting rich off of, Vice President Cheney's getting rich off of, to put those with the blue dot on your mailbox in those concentration camps. Now, if you go out and you find a pink dot on your mailbox, that means that they believe you'll be a good slave and you're going to go along with the program and serve our international antichrist masters. So watch for that dot. They haven't got up to our area yet because they're afraid we might catch them putting the dots on the mailbox and they wouldn't get back to their home at night, you know, if we catch them. But uh, it's time to prepare, folks. It's time to prepare 
It's time to work, 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 work like we're going to win, which we are, but it's also time to prepare like you may lose temporarily. So I'm going to tell all of you, if you have not bought ammunition, if you have not bought guns, go get them now. you won't be able to get them much longer. I have a uh, good buddy at one time, J. Edgar Hoover, director of the FBI. He was not a homosexual like they say. That was a lie that they built up to discredit him. Here's what he said 40 years ago. He said the individual is handicapped by coming face to face with a conspiracy so monstrous that he cannot believe it even exists. And that's the problem we have today. This conspiracy is so monstrous, so demonic, that we tell people about it and they say, you're crazy, this is America, it can't happen here. So, Jack